In this problem, we're going to analyze some liquid phase reaction data in a batch reactor, isothermal, and we're going to use the differential method to estimate the order of reaction, and we can also then get the rate constant. So the, the data are given here. Measure concentrations of reactant at various times as reaction proceeds. And then what we're going to do is make estimates, and in this case, the data has less scattered than a realistic set of data, but in order to, to demonstrate the process with as few data points as possible, we show you. First, if we look at these two data points, we can calculate an average concentration, namely the sum of these two divided by two, and that average concentration then corresponds to this rate, where the rate, delta CA over delta T, that we're going to approximate as the derivative. The rate is 1.34 minus 0.996 divided by 0 0.15, 0 0.05. So delta T, delta concentration. So this is the change, and this is minus the change because I, I I want to look at the order of the reaction and so we want to look at a rate as minus K CA to some power so minus the derivative so this number here is 3.44 the exact same type of calculations were used to get the other values so in this case the log of the concentration, the average concentration, and log of the rate are calculated. And what we can make a plot of is the log of the rate, log of the average concentration, and we get a good straight line when we do this. And the slope is 3.9, so the reaction order then would be 3.9 so realistically probably would present it as a fourth order reaction and this order was obtained from just making an Excel spreadsheet plot of this in the overall equation log of the rate is equal to 3.9 log of the concentration plus 0 0.646. So this is the log of K. And because our rate is K, concentration of A to some power, and we're plotting log of rate, log of K plus the slope gives us the power, the log of CA. And thus we can calculate the log of K 0 0.646, so the rate constant is 1.9. And if this is fourth order, to make the units correct, fourth order reaction would have those units. So we determine the reaction order and the rate constant using the differential method.